We got a great topic here to discuss together today, guys, from Joshua Luther. He commented it and asked this. I'd like to hear your thoughts on fighting the temptations of narcissism or coming across as being self-centered or how we can have a healthy balance of not wanting others' approval of what we're doing here on YouTube. We all want people to like and comment on our videos. Sometimes that means we compromise our beliefs or act in a way we wouldn't with people outside of YouTube. I am coming from a Christian standpoint. I have struggled to talk about my YouTube channel with other Christians because it may come off as being narcissistic. That's a great question. Let's talk about that. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you guys grow a YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their life. And Joshua, the way I would answer that question is kind of like what I just said. It really depends on what the mission behind your channel is. The way all of us tend to talk about the things that we do, whether it be YouTube, whether it be in athletic sports, or a business, whatever, the way we talk about things is really rooted in what we believe about those things, about why they're important, why they're special, why they're significant, why we do them. And so if you're doing them for primarily selfish reasons, that tends to come out and how you talk about it. So for example, video creators is actually not about videos. I know that might, be sound, that might sound a little bit weird, but it's actually about people. And maybe if you, even if it's your first time here, maybe you've already picked up on that. Like that's what we believe, or I believe. That's why this is important. You know, I on my family's vlogging channel years ago, over 10 years ago, we started having some experiences there. We were just making videos actually just to share them with friends and family. And then discovered like, oh, there's other people watching these, these videos. And then we started like hearing all these stories about how their lives were changed and impacted and, and marriages were being healed. People weren't committing suicide that we're going to. Like all these mind-blowing things started happening. And that's when I was like, you know what? There's a lot of opportunity here, not just to grow a channel, but to make this about reaching people and changing their lives. And because of that, I started this channel to help more creators like you be able to experience things like that. Now, no one looks at me and says, Tim, you know, you are very narcissistic. What makes you think that one channel is not good enough for you? You should have two and actually have many more. Uh, that you are so full of yourself that you just need to put yourself out there, not only once a week, but multiple times a week. In fact, maybe eight, as much as eight times per week across all of your channels. No one thinks that because that is not at all what I believe and that's not at all what comes out, I hope, in my in my videos. It'd be like Joshua, uh, like maybe it used the context that you were talking about in, in your comment. Like let's say the minister at, ch at your church goes up on stage there. Um, no one, hopefully, thinks that like, oh, he is so full of himself. Every week he gets up in front of everyone and he's the one who needs to talk to everyone. Like no one thinks that because he's not getting up there to like call attention to himself and look how great I am and how awesome I am. He's hopefully getting up there to spread a message, to do something that's more meaningful and bigger than what he is. He's actually pointing to something else. And hopefully that is what each of you guys are doing as creators. You're getting on this platform, this stage of YouTube, and you're not just pointing at yourself, look at me, look at me, right? But you're pointing at things bigger. You're giving your audience what they want, what they need. You're serving them well, and it's actually all about the viewer. So when you talk about your channel, are you talking about yourself and what you're doing and why it's so awesome for you? Or are you telling the story of your channel that's actually about other people and what you're doing for them and how you're serving them. And all of that comes down to what you, what I would define as like, what is your mission for your channel? And I want you guys to comment below with what is your mission for uh, your channel and, and share that like, what is your belief that compels you to make videos and to share what you're sharing on YouTube? And by the way, that belief can be a very powerful tool for growing your channels because the strongest communities, both online and offline, they don't revolve around common interest. They actually revolve around shared beliefs. And when you share what you believe on your channel, other people who share that belief with you will instantly form a much stronger human connection with you. You'll start getting emotions engaged rather than just like intellect, like, okay, I like this guy because of whatever. Like, oh, now I, I feel something. But maybe your channel is somewhat like mine and that not everyone shares that belief with me. Not everyone believes this is about reaching people and spreading a message that changes lives. In fact, most people believe it's about popularity and it's about money. But that's okay because hopefully your channel, you're not gonna reach like everyone on the planet. Hopefully that's not your goal. Uh, your goal is like, who can I serve the best? Out of everyone on this planet, who can I serve the best? And let's design a channel that is optimized and positioned to serve them better than any other channel can. Because unfortunately what happens when things like money and popularity take over, like those are great 
tools. They make for terrible goals. In fact, if those things are goals, they will ruin your life and in many ways. In fact, I have a video, I'll link to it down below or a card will pop up around here. It's called How Internet Fame Can Ruin Your Life and I highly recommend you go and watch that video to avoid all the pitfalls and downfalls that something like a YouTube channel can bring to you personally. I wanna hear from all of you down in the comments below what your mission is for your channel, what you're doing to reach people and impact their lives. And I also want you to comment with how would you answer Joshua's question? If he were sitting right with you and talking with you, how would you answer that with him? What advice would you give to him? And I want us to all learn from each other down there. So go read the comments other people are leaving. I will learn from you guys like I do every week. So thank you for helping me out with all this stuff do. And if this is your first time here at Video Creators, I would love for you to subscribe. You've probably picked up already on what this channel is all about, so subscribe, get more of that, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye. And hopefully the wind wasn't too bad for you. <laughs> probably was.